Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day today. I, uh, I've been working on a song this, after, this well, yesterday afternoon and this morning. It uh, took me a little minute to, to figure out a way to play it and still do it justice, playing it on acoustic and uh, doing it the best I can do it. This is a beautiful song. I posted it yesterday, a song by Wasp of all people. Uh, it's it's amazing what God can do, how he can turn lives around and, and use people that uh, the world would say was unfit. But, you know, God sees fit to use who he sees fit to use. And I'm glad that he's using me the way he uses me. And I'm going to continue to try to do my best to do everything that he leads me to do. And I hope you all do. <clears throat> but this song is just amazing. If you haven't watched the video, I'm... I'm going to hopefully be able to do it justice because the video, the way that the video is, is, it just makes the song that much more powerful. So while I'm playing this, I want you to actually just, just kind of sit down and close your eyes for a minute and put yourself in the shoes of the man that died on the cross beside Jesus. That thief that was being punished for his crimes that cried out to Jesus and was saved on that cross. Put yourself in his shoes for just a few minutes and get that in your mind that that's who you are and where you're at. Now think about this. At that point in time, Jesus had been beaten to the point he was no longer recognizable as a man. Not that he couldn't be recognized by anybody. It was He was beaten to where you couldn't even tell he was a man anymore. He was beaten that badly. He had drugged his cross. And this is what's amazing about it. Somebody helped him drag that cross. And historians have went back and said that the man that helped him drag that cross up to Golgotha was a black man. That might be a little relevant in this day, you reckon? Everybody has a job to do. Everybody has an importance. Everybody's got an importance. That's, that's for sure. But here Jesus was, beaten beyond recognition as even being a man, hanging on that cross. And this thief beside him cries out for mercy, cries out for grace. His Lord, forgive me. Even in death, he showed his love. In any way, shape, or form, dying on that cross, he showed love and compassion. And like I said, this song is about that man that received that love and that compassion on that cross beside Jesus. So sit down and, and listen to the words to this song, not necessarily the way I play it. Just listen to what they're saying. And put yourself in that man's shoes. Show me up. 
Like I said, that's from the view of that thief that was hanging on the cross next to Jesus. And that little instrumental outro that plays in the video shows this dove ascending up. And it goes up through the sky, up through the clouds, and into space. And it, as it plays out, it just keeps going into the stars and shows... That is just, mm. I hope you got a little something out of that song. I hope that you see that we are all, in this day and time, we are either one of the other thieves on that cross. Are we the ones that are yelling out, Jesus, I need you now? Or are we the ones that uh, hung beside him on the other side, that uh, his heart was hardened? And he was making fun of Jesus. It's up to us, y'all. It's as simple as that. Don't let the world blind you. and Don't let the devil cheat you out of eternity. If you don't know Jesus, right now would be a great time just to cry out to him and say, Jesus, I need you now. Believe in me. Trust in him. Cry out to him. It'll change your whole life, your whole attitude. Yeah, this world's full of problems. And every last problem in this world links back to one thing. Sin. If we ever want to see our nation truly be great again, we're going to have to turn our back on the sins that we have legalized. Just because we make something legal doesn't mean it's right. You want to do away with racism? Stop looking at races. You want to do away with hatred? Start loving people. It all starts with the person that those three fingers, you know, when you point your finger at somebody, one, two, three, three fingers that are pointing back at you. Make sure you're practicing what you're preaching. I try to show the love of Jesus every day. I try to smile at people that I don't know and speak to people I don't know and just kind of say something joyful. If it's nothing more than just, hey, how you doing? Make sure you say it with a big smile on your face. Love each other, people. That's all we got to do. That's the only thing we got to do to make the world a better place. Love each other. Be like that dying thief on the cross next to Jesus and cry out to him and then go out and love each other. I hope you guys enjoyed this song. I hope you got a little something out of it because it just, when I, the first time I listened to it, it just, Oh, man, it just made me, it gave me chills all over. It made me so thankful that, that Jesus loved 
so much. It didn't matter that he was, his life was leaving him. And he still loved so much that he saved that man's soul on that cross right next to him. Come on, people. If that's not a, if that's not an emotional thing, there's something wrong. You do need to get down and pray. That is just so emotional. I may not have done the song a bit of justice, but I did everything I could with it. And I love the song. It's amazing. And it's amazing to me that the man that wrote it was actually such, such an amazing musician all my life that I've listened to, and his music was nothing to do with Jesus. And now this comes, I mean, this was released in 2015, and it's, it just it, it does my heart good to know that the Lord doesn't care who you are. He'll save you so. It does my heart good to know that, I, hey, I'm going to actually get to meet Blackie Lawless one of these days when we get to heaven. Now, that'd be cool. I listened to him growing up, never got to see him play live. I'll get to, hey, I might even get to sit down and play with and full music with Blackie Lawless. That'd be awesome. In heaven. You know, there's going to be a lot of people in heaven. And I hope that we can get more people in heaven. So, uh, get out. Share God's word with somebody. Love each other. Smile every chance you get. Have a great day. And I love every one of you. We'll talk to you soon.